friends it's Liz here I am so excited about this project I'm going to show you this mini album slash journal I saw this on Instagram just kind of flashed you know as I was looking through it and it was something that Bia V made uh, I was like quickly trying to get you know measurements and stuff so I can make one and show you how to easily put this together with one 12 by 12 paper you have an option of adding the center pockets and I'll show you that as we go through so I'll show you what I've done and then we'll make one together so you can see so far everything on the front page here flips out which I absolutely love I've got space for journaling I've got little space to add you know like tickets or stubs or something so this could be like a, something you can use on a day trip or something like a mini album that you can send to someone the center here has little pockets in the center and this is the addition that you may or may not add depending on if you want to but that would be in addition to the 12 by 12 on the back of it we've got a little belly band and then on the other side again we've got more little areas to tuck things in and um, I've used a lot of washi tape on this one because I really wanted to, um, to kind of add little spaces to journal in this. So you can see I've got lots of things from the washi tape shop and I will link them below if you're interested in anything plus a coupon code um, if you want to purchase anything. And then these little pockets here or these little tuck spots are for photos if you wanted to tuck in a little photo. And so you can see just how cute this is. It folds up nicely. You can send this in happy mail. I did make it with um, single sided paper, but you can certainly go ahead and you know use your double sided for this as well. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make one and then I'll give you a little bit more detail on how I decorate it if you're interested. Um, like I said, I added a little bit of washi tape here and there to you know sort of have spaces for journaling but of course you can journal and all the all the different little ephemera pieces that are included in there as well i love it so let me show you how to put one together so of course you'll need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper i always use things that don't necessarily have like a top to bottom to them um, i find it easier when i'm showing you the tutorials in the video to make it this way so you'll be scoring at five and a half six and six and a half so those are your first three score lines you'll turn it once and then you'll score it four and an eight that's all the scoring you need for now and this is if you want to just do the little album slash journal without the center pockets okay so that's all you need here i'll let you know what else you need if you wanted to add the center pockets that we added that you saw in the video so now we just cut a few pieces to make our little flaps so you'll see your center where you did your five and a half, six and six and a half score lines. You'll be cutting the um, that section up to that first bottom score line. So you just see what I'm doing and then you'll be able to, to get what I'm saying. So when you look at your paper, you'll have these center pieces that you'll be cutting out from the top and bottom really. And once you do that, you'll kind of see where the folding and everything comes in now we've done something similar in a different video from one of my 12 by 12s or mini albums um, but of course the way that it folds and unfolds this one's different and so that's why i was so excited to show you this one um, because i really like the way that it takes advantage of the 12 by 12 and you only cut off these two little pieces really um, and you can always use those as belly bands if you want to or little tuck spots so you really don't waste anything with your 12 by 12. Uh, right now i'm just making sure that all my fold lines are um, you know nicely done so that i know where everything is folding <clears throat> we'll cut off that top and bottom flap <clears throat> as you can see we just cut that off and then we're left with our um, little scores in the center now i'm not really taking my time to do this because i'm doing the filming um, but of course you would take your time in making sure that your cuts are straight so that you're not sort of all wobbly everywhere with your pages and you'll kind of see as you're folding everything together um, you know where you may need to take a little bit off here and there because it doesn't line up properly with your um, your center score lines there you might want to fold things in and cut a little bit so I'm just cleaning this up just a little bit and then um, again we'll just fold this over 
and I'm going to now show you um, how we add our second piece to it if um, you're going to be adding your center pockets. So here I'm just making these little folds um, because this is what's going to help us sort of open our little book and our hinge. And um, now the Instagram post, she um, uh, glued, she didn't glue everything. She used these uh, brads to close it together but I glued everything down and I'll show you how I'm doing that because I just found it a little bit easier. All right, so for adding our center pocket, you're going to need a second sheet of paper. I'll put the um, measurements on the screen here. And then you're just making two score lines for this larger piece. Um, this bottom part will be your pocket and then you've got your similar center score lines as we did in the previous one. Okay, so again, five and a half, six and six and a half, and then the side we had scored at one and a half. So now you can see where our pocket is coming in. Like I said, this is super fun and easy to do, and it was just one of those projects that I had to try because I really love how it folds in and out. Now, uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you those of you that are returning. I make a lot of one page uh, projects and I share that on my channel. I have a lot of those tutorials and I will uh, link that playlist in the description box below as well as on my blog. You can check out my additional tutorials if you are a junk journal maker. I have a lot of beginner ideas for junk journals um, and just so many different ideas and projects that um, I've shared in the last few years. So I hope that um, you enjoy the videos and I hope that you try something. If you haven't um, seen my June giveaway videos, I will link those below. You have a chance to enter. So far I've got two going. I might add another one. I'm just so excited about doing that. So now we folded everything together as you have seen. We'll take our center pocket now I'm adding glue to our center folds, as you can see here, these are the ones that we were left with. And then I'm going to be attaching our pocket page to the center here and making sure that it glues and adheres properly. Now with this type of project, you might find that you have a little extra on the edges. You know, it happens when you fold paper and you're sort of trying to combine it together so you can always clean that up afterwards you know on the edges if it bothers you it doesn't often bother me depending on you know where it's going now we're getting to the center of our pockets and then we will be adding glue to that center as well and then this is going to help us of course keep our pockets closed and that center nicely adhered to our album slash journal because this one can definitely be used to add photos or ephemera you know happy mail etc or you can just use it as a little journal where you could um, you know take it on a trip and then just add your little ephemera to it there so now you can see we've got our different little pockets in the center these can be um, put in any way so you can flip your pockets to face the other way if you want to and then of course, like I said, you've got your different little flip outs and flip downs, which I think are so fun in this project. So I'm just making sure here that my pages kind of are nice and flat. And again, like I said, you'll figure out the entire, um, you know, way that you need to cut any extras if you need to. So um, let me just quickly show you how I embellished it so you can have an idea of what I did with the project. You'll notice that on the cover, I kept the embellishments flat because I thought if I'm sending this in the mail, I want to keep this as flat as possible. Of course, you can, you know, add your um, different layers if you wanted to do that here. On this page on the left, I did a little bit of washi tape and then I added a little piece to tuck something in. You saw that I added the little pocket on the right side. And then, of course, in the center, I added a belly band because, you know, that's always nice to have. Here I showed you um, the different areas for adding, um, again, journaling, another little tuck spot. And these all can obviously be switched around wherever you want to put them. And so I think that is just so nice that you'll, you know, you can add as many pockets as you want or flip ups, flip downs, etc. You've got your nice large pockets in the center. And I think these are really um 
you know versatile as well and of course on the backs of these pockets i added another belly band on this side here again i did a little bit of washi tape with a tuck spot as you can see there i love that washi tape and then on the top again more washi tape to show where you know you could do a little bit of journaling another little tuck spot here to add your photo and then you've got your center here where there's another little tuck spot and then i added these little photo corners to show that you could put a photo there so that's it my friends i hope you like this tutorial um, check out my playlist thanks so much for joining me today let me know what you think of the video if you make this in vintage style i would love to see it so tag me and uh, don't forget to enter my giveaways and i'll see you next time thanks so much for stopping by